And then I'm kind of overwhelmed by the urge that there's a button there and all I have to do is hit the button and hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of people around the world will suddenly read my idea <laughs> right now. Mm -hmm. And the idea of being able to restrain myself to go, well, now this is for Evitz Relius's writing, whereas Steve Saylor's is going to not touch any of that and be mm -hmm. much duller. It, that, that never would have happened. Uh, I mean, what I recommend is that if you're starting off as a controversial opinion journalist, why not go with a Mark Twain, Lewis Carroll type pseudonym. I mean, mm -hmm. rather than one that's obviously you just made up like delicious tacos or <laughs> mentious mold bug or something mm -hmm. like that, Bronze Age pervert. Why don't you just, just pick out a name? And yeah, you'll probably get doxxed and all that eventually. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing is mostly, even though you could go, oh, and I'm fine with being doxxed, you know, mm -hmm. when you're starting out, just remember that life can be very long and mm -hmm. it can lead to a lot of complicated relationship questions. And mm -hmm. just having the fact that that you have a name that people don't care about and can be good for other people in your life. Mm -hmm. um, now, or, or you can do what I did, which is move back uh, in the year 2000 to my native uh, Los Angeles, where I grew up. And m the fact that I am like the world's tiniest internet nano celebrity cuts exactly no mustard in Los Angeles. It's great. <laughs> Nobody cares. You know, I'm not Robert Downey Jr. Uh, I'm not Timothy Chalamet. Uh, if you're not, you're nobody here. And mm -hmm. that makes my life quite pleasant. Yeah, but yeah. other places, you know, with smarter people and more serious people, it could be mm -hmm. kind of a pain. Has anybody noticed you? Like, has anybody recognized you in, in real life at all? I mean, yeah, so it happened once in Los Angeles. But how come there are so many movies and essays and TV shows about women questioning their sexuality? So if you are questioning your sexuality, like, please press one in the chat. But it's been a perpetual meme in the, the mainstream media for, for years, like all sorts of movies about it. And, and now we got a new one. Am I okay? Dakota Johnson's delayed awakening. The actress plays a 32 year old woman who starts to question her sexuality in a Max film. And you'd never guess in which direction she apparently questions her sexuality. Yes. She starts to think that she might be gay. Whoa. Hasn't, why hasn't anyone ever plowed this this brand new terrain before. I mean, this is brave. This is exciting. I, just to think, finally, we've got a, a filmmaker and a TV channel that's brave enough to, to question, like a, a woman's questioning sexuality, you know, is she, is she really gay? So uh, Dakota Johnson seems to do, you know, a whole bunch of these like sex obsessed movies. But uh, what, what are the, what are the movies celebrating men questioning their sexuality and realizing that they're heterosexual or men exploring their sexuality? So uh, Jeannie Buss, right? She posed nude for Playboy in, in her 30s. And she said because she wanted something like explore her sexuality. I, 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 it just seems so bizarre that you would like publicly get naked to explore your sexuality like i'm trad like i'm old-fashioned right i think if you want to explore your, your sexuality like get married to somebody of the opposite sex have i heard of israeli psychologist yakov ophir and what he has to say about adhd no women should explore cookbooks god forbid famous hollywood actors kids are saturated Hi. i mean all these Different movies, TV shows, themes, just celebrations, women exploring their, their sexuality. It gets to be gets to be a little tiresome. Okay, let's get a quick uh, summary of the news. Left you no choice. You must first secure the border and secure it now. Biden's executive action on the border is ridiculous. What was that? Prosecutors aren't supposed to tamper with evidence, and it looks like that's what he did. He changed the sequence of the documents that he sees from Mar a Lago. I'm sorry, that's a false characterization. The Attorney General under oath. It took being branded to actually wake up and get back to reality and literally snap back to my former self. Escaping a sex cult. The Get It Together series continues. Endless money, sex, and power. Plus... I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! 
sex and power. What? Joe Biden's never worked harder than his first day in office. I've never seen a man sign so many things. It was executive order after executive order. He didn't really know what he was signing. But in 24 hours, Biden's John. Okay, so why is Biden doing this? Because the polls show that uh, open borders is not popular. And th this is the weakest, weakest point in his uh, political armor. All right, uh, Americans overwhelmingly prefer Donald Trump when it comes to protecting the border. If I was wrong, it's because I took too long. So for years, he said, I can't do anything. Congress has to act. Right? There's nothing that I can do as an executive. There's nothing really that I can do as president of the United States. All right, I'm just a victim of circumstance. Congress has to act. But now the polls reveal that he's on track to lose the election. The polls reveal that this is the weakest part of his uh, presidency with uh, much of the American public. And so this, this goes back to one of my principles of decoding reality. The situation is king. Right? Joe Biden has been incredibly lax with regard to border enforcement. But now, because it's so unpopular... And many Democrats are outraged by his lack of enforcement on, on the border. Now he's coming around. So Democrats will come around on crime. They'll come around on immigration when it becomes a political necessity. And so when you get a severe enough situation, it really doesn't matter what someone's pre-existing opinions are. When the pressure becomes intense enough, people will shift. Biden's so-called border shutdown order doesn't shut down the border at all. It keeps catch and release. We read it. And so did Trump. Now, after nearly four years of his failed, weak leadership, pathetic leadership, crooked Joe Biden is pretending to finally do something about the border. But in fact, it's all about show because he knows we have a debate coming up in three weeks. The truth is that Joe Biden's executive order won't stop the invasion. It's weak and it's pathetic. It will actually make the invasion worse. Millions of people a year will continue to pour across our border and be released into our country. Biden claims he'll shut down the border if illegal crossings hit 2,500 a day, but they're already over 3,000. So let's just say Biden shuts down the border immediately. What does it really mean? It means this. If Jose gets caught crossing the border, and if we say, Mexico, take him, and Mexico just says, no way, Jose, Jose stays in Estados Unidos. Biden has no deal with Mexico. They just elected a new president yesterday. She's brand new. Biden hasn't even called to congratulate her, let alone cut a deal. There's no plan to deport anyone. 